We have 8,500 students at our Okanagan campus and 1,000 faculty and staff. Every one of those people has a story to tell. It's important for the Faculty of Creative and Critical Studies to tell its stories so that people external to us, communities outside the university and even at times within the university at large, understand what it is that we do at a distance what we do perhaps doesn't always seem readily apparent. There's no doubt that we have students that produce art, there's no doubt that we have students who study art, we create art, we critique art, but that doesn't necessarily come across as something that people external to the university or the faculty would immediately or fully understand. Our stories is really a, an opportunity for us to share with the Okanagan stories about the way that we're engaging with our communities and the way that our communities are engaging with the university. We've chosen at this point to start with student stories to illustrate the kinds of inspiring ways that experience is shaping their education and is in fact shaping the students and their futures. And by the same token, their experience in the community is helping to shape the communities, helping to transform the Okanagan in ways that people may not, may not see right away, but is having a transformational impact over the long term. Economic, social, cultural, and environmental sustainability, for example. What's behind me may not look like too much, but that's actually a sand pit that used to be a long jump pit. And what's so significant about that is this is where we first found the Western Painted Turtle eggs and we first found them starting to hatch. This is about seven years ago, long before I was really part of this project. Shimshan's story, I think, has all the elements of a good story. Certainly, when you're trying to present what is often regarded as high-level university material to a broader audience, it has a young man who decided that he needed to do something to help local school kids to further a project that they've been engaged in for a couple of years already prior to his identifying it. And that's something that merits praise. It's something that we should all be proud of, whether it's a university student doing it or others out in the community. This installation is quite important to our overall campaign to, to raise awareness of our UBC Okanagan activity because we're at uh, YLW, the 10th busiest airport in Canada. The great thing about this mural is it's more of an, an installation, it's almost an art piece in and of itself and it certainly provides a, a visual reference of our university and the people at our university for travellers, the, the many travellers who arrive in Kelowna annually to engage with. They might never see our university, but they will see this representation and they'll understand a little bit of what's going on just across the road at UBC's Okanagan campus. We understand that people moving through the airport may be moving at a fairly rapid pace, so we've intentionally kept the content in, in the airport artwork minimalist, so it's short snippets of information that hopefully will capture people's imagination, pique their interest, and we've made the website address prominent in our materials because the web is where the deep content of our stories can exist and people can go online and they can read about the individuals they see here in, in this installation or in some of the advertising that we'll be doing as well. And they can find out just exactly how our students are engaging in the community and how the community is affecting our students and enriching their educational experience.